Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the Windows Firewall service does not start on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be just to reset your Windows Firewall settings back to default. So in order to do that, all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in control panel, best match, you'll come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by the top right to large icons, and then you want to select the Windows Firewall or Windows Defender Firewall area. Let's go ahead and left click on that to open that up. And on the left side, select where it says restore defaults. So restoring default settings will remove all Windows Defender firewall settings that you have configured for all network locations. This might cause some apps to stop working. Go ahead and select Restore Defaults, and then select Yes. And then once that's done, I would suggest closing out of there and then restarting your computer. And once you're back in the Windows, it, hopefully the issue's been resolved. If you're still having an issue with the Windows Firewall service, you can try opening up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, you'll come back with Command Prompt. Right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video. First one is the DISM scan. So go ahead and copy that and then go up the top bar of the command line window here. Right click on it, select Edit and paste in that command. and give this a couple minutes to run. Okay, so once that command has concluded, go ahead and copy and paste the second command in the description of my video. This is the System File Tracker Utility. Oh, didn't mean to close out of that. That was a mistake. I'm going to go ahead and reopen the command line there. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in the second command, again, in the description of my video. Looks like I accidentally pasted it in a couple of times here. But we're just going to go ahead and paste it in and hit Enter. And give us a couple of minutes to run as well.
And once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point, your issue should have been resolved. If you go into the services, you should be able to re-enable the Windows Firewall service if it is still, in fact, disabled. So it actually would be underneath Windows Defender Firewall right here. And make sure it's running and it's automatic, and you should be good to go. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.